Florabelle. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. And today we have a little chit chat makeup tutorial. And this is all based on Wet n Wild products. And I'm super excited because Wet n Wild has been bringing really nice products to the market. There's also been some reformulated products. They even did more new packaging and it looks amazing. I've been testing a lot of their products out and I'm really impressed by them and I just wanted to share them with you and I'm also doing a little bit of contouring so you guys know how I do it because I know a lot of you have been asking me around how I actually do my contour and it's so simple guys. I'm going to show you guys what I do in this tutorial as well and I don't know I'll just talk to you guys a little bit I know I've been doing a lot of voiceovers or just those quick tutorials and I decided to do this one like a little bit chatty and if you're interested in watching how I got this look please keep watching and I love you guys so much see you later Alright guys, so I already primed my face and I'm going to start off with this Wet n Wild Coverall Primer and I have used this before. I think it is amazing. I actually used it yesterday to work because I am like almost out of primer and I realized that I haven't been using this for a while and the makeup literally lasted me all day. So I'm gonna just dab a little bit of this. It's like literally not even a dime size. Yeah, maybe a little bit, I don't know. And just put it in the areas that I have large pores and I tend to get oily. Guys, my skin has actually gotten a little bit better. I'm actually impressed. I've been using the Bure baking soda cleanser and it has helped me out a lot. I've also changed up my skincare routine so if you guys want to see a video on that let me know. I've realized I haven't done a chit chat um, makeup tutorial in a while. Alright so that is on and I haven't found a foundation from Mud and Wild that actually can go with my skin so I'm gonna stick to the Maybelline Better Skin because it is my holy grail and I'm just going to apply some of that I'm going to put it on my hand right there I'm using a damp blending sponge from Real Techniques and I'm just going to dab it on my face I realize when I make tutorials I make these very weird ugly faces don't we all? I think we all have a face. So, yeah. I usually do two coats of this one. I mean, it is like full coverage, but sometimes I want the extra coverage and I like to build it up. But it gives me a lot of coverage overall. I mean, you can already see the difference. Come on. <laughs> so I was talking about my skin. It's actually been getting a little dry, so I've been needing to like hydrate it more. And <laughs> that was funny. I've been needing to hydrate it more, and I don't know, maybe make it look a little more dewy sometimes, which is maybe good, but at the same time, it's not. But you know, you get it because you have acne, and then you have dirty skin, which is bad. <laughs> but it's been getting a little better. It's been a tough road with my face. I used to get a lot of back knee. I still do have it. That's something that I haven't talked too much about. Um, but it's gotten a lot better and you know, it's been a struggle. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild palette. It's called Comfort Zone. As I know a lot of people have been talking about these shadows. This is actually pretty old. I've never done a tutorial with this palette and it is amazing. It is so pigmented and Wet n Wild is not a pricey brand so it is amazing. Alright, so I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild brush. If you guys haven't seen my drugstore 
haul, my two drugstore hauls. I'm gonna link them somewhere around here so you guys can check it out because they brought so many cool stuff. I think I'm gonna be using this shade right there because I want a warm look today. I don't know, I haven't been doing those sort of looks lately so I'm gonna go in for that. Like, I didn't even prime my eyes. And look at that pigmentation. It is beautiful. Wow, that is beautiful. You can just leave it like that, honestly. This is amazing. I should name the shadows because that way it's easier for you guys to know what I'm using. Wow, this shade is beautiful. I don't know why I haven't been using this palette. Like, it is so pretty. I remember the first time I bought it, I was doing a tutorial for Walgreens. It was a contest to be in Juventus Vibra, something like that. I don't know. I know it was with Connie Garcia, and I think that was one of my first tutorials ever, and I was so nervous. And I did okay. I was still a pretty beginner, but it was an awesome experience, and I really liked it. I got to meet her. She's a really cool person. All right, guys. So for my crease, I'm gonna be using this contour shade from their contour palette. Since it's pretty warm, I'm gonna use that as the transition shade because the palette does not have any matte colors, and that's what I want to use. I do not like to use the glitter on my crease. So I try to maintain that in the edge. I like to make sure I go outwards. Wow, these brushes are amazing. This is actually the first time I'm using them. I've used their brushes before. If you haven't seen my Disney Villains collection, those were Soho brushes, but they also brought some Wet n Wild stuff, so. And some of their Wet n Wild kits had brushes, and they were amazing. Most of them were eye brushes. Now I'm gonna give some more of depth to the eye look because it's too, it's pretty, you can leave it like that, but I want to give it a little bit of more darkness to it. So I think I'm going to go on with this color on the corners. I'm going to be using this, this is Soho brush, this is from the collection of the Disney Villains, so you might still be able to find it, I'm sorry if you can't. And I'm just going to put this on the outer corner and like flick it a little bit. So guys, I've been planning out a couple of videos, especially now that there's a lot of drugstore items coming out of in the market, so I don't know. What do you guys want to see? I want to start doing new stuff for the channel. It's a new year, and yeah, I'm going to be really busy with college, but I want to do new stuff for the channel, especially tutorials. I think I've been wanting to do a couple of tutorials because I have so many makeup items that I still haven't tried out. I showed you guys a bunch of stuff that I got and there's a bunch of things that I haven't used yet. I've been testing some out. So if you guys want to see a video on some of them, like a specific look that you want to see, let me know in the comments down below. When I clean this out, it's like totally sharp and it looks amazing. So don't be afraid. That's why I do my foundation afterwards because I like to make sure that I'm blending everything out perfectly. All right guys, so to highlight my brow bone, I'm gonna be using the contour palette in Dulce de Leche, and I'm gonna use, obviously, the lighter shade to highlight that brow bone and fix what we messed up because 
I like to be messy like that. I love it. I think this shade, I'm always going to be using it for that because I don't think I would be doing contour with this shade. Like I like using the other banana color. Alright guys, so I'm going to go back in with that golden shade just to intensify the gold. You guys know I love my glitter and it's got to be intense. And I always like to pat it because that's the best way you can get that glitter to intensify. Alright guys, so now I'm just going to clean that off just to make it look like that cat eye look. You guys know I love to get that cat eye going on, so I'm just going to clean it off like that. If you have like that doe eye look, it's really nice if you do a cat eye because it'll give you a lift and it actually makes you look even younger. So it's really nice to do it that way. I'm also cleaning off the fallout because we were using glitter. Stuff, so we're still gonna go back and and keep blending that out a little bit because you can see there's still harsh lines and we don't want that. So you guys, now we're going to brows. We're using this Wet and Wild Ultimate Brow Mascara, and this has been oh my gosh, amazing! Like for a drugstore item at the price that you get. I mean, it is $5. It's is one of the most affordable ones that I've seen and it works wonders. I also use their Universal Stencil Kit because it has the powders just to make it look more natural. But this is amazing. Like, when I go to college, this is all I use and I'm good to go. I haven't been work. I've been trying not to wear too much makeup lately because I think that's what made my skin get a little bit better. Us beauty gurus, we love makeup, but we should also take care of our skin and also embrace our skin. I think that sometimes we tend to get too insecure about our skin, and we should take more care of it if you want to get pretty skin. Stop using too much makeup. Honestly, I love makeup, but it has its cons. So I try to always do a, look, a natural look and try not to wear too much makeup. It's just not that's not the thing that you want. You don't want your skin to get worse. I'm gonna go in with this dark shade just to give it a little bit of more shape to the brow. Now we're going to highlight and a lot of you have asked me how I contour. I honestly don't do a lot of contouring and especially I don't do cream contour but if you guys want to see a specific video on that I can show you guys. I have no problem doing that but all I do is I usually do the highlight in cream of course but the rest I do in powder so I just do the little triangle thing. I start off with Positing the product, of course, and then I do the shaping. And I go to those areas that I like to highlight. I haven't actually contoured in a while guys like I just haven't had time for that <laughs> nobody had time for that I don't know contouring is more like for when you want to do some events or something that's what I use contouring for I don't like to do it a lot but I do like to highlight my dog circles because well Nobody wants to know dark circles. 
I just don't go all the way, you know? And then I do this with my finger. I like to tap it with my finger first. And then I do the weird faces. No. But those weird faces are what makes it look good, so. You know. And then I go in with the blending sponge. I think the only thing that I would skip today is the baking thing because it's not really necessary right now. But you could do it if you want. It's really easy. You just take some translucent powder and let it set for a while and you're good to go. I do it when I go to work though because if you're going to be hours working and stuff, I prefer making sure that that makeup is not going to move but if you're like just going to be just going to go out for a moment and you know etc it's not necessary honestly you don't, you don't need it just the less makeup you have on your face the better but this look is glamorous so we're going to go all the way except for the baking session you don't need to do all these steps it is not necessary at all this is amazing I think I can actually say that this is a dupe for the Urban Decay um, what's that called you know the highlighter from Urban Decay the naked weightless skin concealer it is amazing like this is amazing and it literally cost me around four dollars and I'm in love with it it is so lightweight and it does stay there like you can see how it's like super coverage I'm amazed I'm gonna be setting that concealer with the contour palette again this is the caramel toffee contour kit and I'm gonna be using this banana powder and I'm gonna be setting all of my concealer. So I'm using an e.l.f. like highlighting brush. I call it the highlighting brush because that's what I use it for. But I'll give you guys the names down below. I always give you guys the description of each of the items that I'm mentioning on the description box because that's what the description box is for. I'm setting all of that. I really like this banana powder. It's actually pretty good. I'm gonna set my face with powder before I start contouring. I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder, and I've never used this before, so this is gonna be my first time. I'm gonna be using this flat top Kabuki from Wet n Wild, and I'm just gonna set everything. Oh wow, it's super soft. I love it. I love these brushes. They're amazing, guys. You don't even know. You don't even know. I think I could have even used this powder to just set my under eyes, but you know, I wanted to use the contour thingy. Now, even in Puerto Rico, you have to set everything with powder. It does not work here. The, the cream thing, it does not work here. So you still have to set it. So you want to save some steps. Now we're going in with the contour palette in Dulce de Leche because the other contour powder is too warm and we don't want no warm in the contour because then it's not contour. I'm using their little contour brush that you can also use for blush actually. Yeah, this is definitely a contour shade. We're going to use a little bit. I don't like to contour a lot, guys, because I feel like it's eating my face. But then we're going to blend that stuff out later on. I like to leave it, like, at least from where my eye starts, as you can see. Because you don't want... I mean, people do 
sometimes bring it all the way up if you don't have too much sheet but I don't like that I, I really don't I feel like it looks so on me but it all depends on your face like you have to get to know your face have you gotten to know your face yet that's a deep question <laughs> And then I get my forehead. I really don't have a huge forehead, but I like to get in there because I like to give it a little bit of color. Then we're gonna give it some more color because I'm I'm too hincha, you know? I'm too white. So well I'm not that white, but I'm white. So I don't like to look that white. That pale. I mean the whiteness is not the problem, it's the paleness, which is technically the same thing. <laughs> so you can take a small brush like this, but you're gonna take the color. Gonna dab in there, tap off the excess, there's a lot of excess, and you're just gonna go and you guys know I have like this little bone here, so you, you wanna hide that. I don't like to hide it because I like my bone, but I'm gonna show you guys. All you're gonna do is like bring it over here. I have this little bone here, so you're gonna hide it. The only thing with these contour things, they're very powdery, so. We're gonna blend this chisel out in a bit because it is crazy right now. That's basically the nose job right there. You have it right there. I'm gonna, I barely have a nose now. Contouring is very basic. You just if you want to know where you have to place it, just make sure it's, well, it's usually like that. It's every two fingers. Highlight, contour. Highlight, contour, 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 highlight. Get it? And, you know, contour. For blush, I'm going to be using a very light shade that I fell in love with. I didn't have this color yet in the Wet n Wild collection, which is their color icon. They actually reformulated these blushes and... The packaging is actually way better. It actually looks prettier. We're going in with the blush. This is in the shade Rose Champagne. And it is just very soft. It looks like you're not going to get any color deposited to your cheeks. But you will. And you guys know I like my very soft look going on. So that's what we're going for. And this is really pigmented, so you don't want to go too intense with it. I think this color is beautiful. I think I'm going to use this like every day. I've already used it once for school and people complimented me like for the color. They were like, oh, you're, you look so pretty. You look so glowy and cute. Because it does have a tint of glow. And I of course use the glowing palette that they had. I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Mega Last Retractable Eyeliner. I'm going to try to use it because my eyes have been extra sensitive these couple of days. And I haven't been able to wear any liner. Like you guys don't even know. So we're going in with that. I'm going to use a brush because I don't even want to touch my face. I can't feel my face now. So I'm not a fan of this liner, so I might be changing it up in a bit because I'm like really sensitive right now. I don't want to make my eyes more sensitive. I think I'm going to cry. No, I'm going to stop right there. And I'm going to be using my Rimmel London liner because I can't, guys. I don't want to cry for you. So I'm going to be using my Scandalized Waterproof Coal Kajal liner. <laughs> and Obviously, it's in their black shade. This is black. And it is so creative. The color in it is so creative. Right now. Guys, I have to apologize for last week's video. It was... It sounded like animals were killing my house or something. They were invading my house, not killing it. But, um, and... It's just really hard, guys. I tried to wait, and you guys know that I like to be faithful with my videos. I try my best, and 
There was roosters, birds. Today's there's like birds and somebody's like cleaning the grass. So it's like no matter what I do. And I live close to the highway, so that's another issue. And now we're going in to give it more depth. Um, I'm going to smudge it out with the dark shade that we use, which says definer. And we're going to be using a definer brush for that, but it's angled, so yeah. And we're going to get in there. doesn't matter if it's messy because we're going to be smudging it out in a bit. And of course, now we're going back to the contour shade from the Dulce de Leche palette, and we're gonna be smudging that out and making it give some more dimension to the shadow. You never wanna drag it down too much because you don't want it to look like you've been punched in the eyes. That's not the idea. No. As you can see, I didn't even need to use a liner for this because I did the whole cutting thing and it makes it look like I actually have liner on. And now we're going to mascara. I don't... Bruh. Go fly somewhere else. So now we're going in with mascara. I don't actually have a Wet n Wild mascara right here with me. I'm just working with what I have. But I can recommend... You guys, a mascara from Wet Wild, which is the purple one. It's the Mega Lens, I think it's called. And it is amazing. So, I have to repurchase that mascara, actually. It's really good for the... Oh, my God. Here come the animals. I feel like Cinderella when this happens. Wait, isn't it Snow White or something? I don't know. Let's just go to the mascara. Alright, so now I'm going in with their Illuminating Palette. This is... Such a beautiful palette, guys. You don't even know. I really like it. This is actually reformulated as well, but what I like about it is that it's so big and you can actually get it into all four colors of the palette. I hope they bring more. They had some of these and I actually never tried them before. Even in, in their old packaging, I never tried it. They just didn't caught my eye because didn't catch my eye, not caught my eye. Because they were so tiny and I don't know, the packaging was ugly. I'm using this shade and I'm gonna mix it with the lighter shade because it gives it such a beautiful glow. That's what I'm going for today. I like to bring it up a little bit because I like to look glowy on that area. And then we're gonna blend it out in a bit. Oh my gosh. I mean, talk about this highlight. I love it. Mm. It's so pretty. It's gonna look even more prettier when we blend it out. Uh-huh. I'm gonna use my trusty blending brush because it's salt. This is from MAC 187. So for my inner corners, I'm going to be using the same shade that I used to highlight. It's the lighter one. Now I look more awake. And we're going in with this beautiful shade from their new Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Colors. And this is in the shade... What's their shade? What's the shade? Give me the shade, puppy. It's called Hickory Smoked. And, oh my god. I think I'm going to mix it with one of their other colors. These are amazing. I bought four of their shades. Actually, all four of them. The ones that I actually saw available at the moment. Because they look amazing. And they're very opaque. This one is a little bit sheer, but... I still like it because it doesn't make your lips feel so dry. I'm also going in with Nude Streak and I'm going to mix it up.
Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and little chatting. I know it's pretty long. I hope I didn't bore you guys with my talking. This was pretty improvised, but I mostly liked how the look color looked and the eyes. Oh my gosh. And I don't know, I pretty much loved everything. Um, let me know which product you have tried and absolutely loved because I think I've loved everything from their new collection and also their new reformulated products. I think Wet n Wild has stepped up their game big time and I can't wait to see more of their products. I still have palettes to try out which I know have been coming out and yeah that's pretty much it. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet please do so so you can catch up on some more of my videos. I'm gonna try to make some more tutorials so let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see because there's still a bunch of new drugstore products that we need to test out and I'm really excited to show them to you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to beautify with love. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.